Halo 3, is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. Halo 3 comes to PC, Halo 3 comes to PC, Halo 3 it comes to PC, it's a Halo 3 it comes to PC, Halo as the next installment in Halo the Master Chief Collection, now optimised for PC, witness the Master Chief's return to finish the fight guys, between the Covenant, the Flood and the, it's only 13 years f***ing later that everybody's been waiting to see what the f*** happens next you lazy bastards, and the entire human race in this dramatic pulse-pounding conclusion of the original Halo trilogy. With the fate of the galaxy hanging in the balance, the Master Chief returns to uncover an ancient secret hidden beneath the sands of Africa, which could hold the key to humanity's salvation or destruction. An object that could change the tide of the human covenant conflict. First up guys, let's have a look at the old graphical options. Not a great deal of them, to be honest with you. Uh, this hasn't had the same treatment that the first two Halos had, where they had a completely redone of the graphics. What this has had is an upscale to 4K, uh, and it now runs higher than 30 frames a second, which is a relief. Um, you can rebind all your keys in this as well, so that, that was handy for me, because I don't use Wasad, because it sucks. But to be honest, guys, the graphics don't look too bad. I mean, obviously, they are, again, a dog's anus, like uh, in Singularity that I reviewed uh, yesterday. Um, but it's it's not they're not too bad and i tell you what i tell you what guys some of the actual landscapes look awesome believable immersive all of that stuff especially when you're flying around in your warthog jeep there it's just it's fun guys it's 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 6.99 so this carries on the story from the the second one which we didn't get this on the pc um we got the first ones but we didn't get this one uh, 13 years ago, we were left hanging in the balance. I wasn't because I didn't really play the Halo games that much on the PC. I'm not a massive Halo fan, to be honest. I am enjoying the Master Chief collections, though. I, I mean, the first two, I really enjoyed. And uh, this one here, I'm having fun. Uh, we've played this in co-op as well, which I'll come to in a second. But let's concentrate on the single player and what you get for your money. You get about, I don't know, eight or nine hours worth of gaming here, guys. It's all balls to the wall from, from the get-go, pretty much. Uh, especially as you get towards the end of the game it just gets so destructive so many enemies so many weapons just lying around one of the things that I do like about Halo is you're gonna run out of bullets the weapon that you have at the beginning of the mission ain't gonna be the same one you finish the mission with that's pretty much a dead cert when you're playing this game you're gonna run out of ammo somewhere along the line and uh, you're gonna pick up all kinds of weapons and I love that I love that just running around the battlefield thing I need I need a gun any yeah I'll take a fucking catapult give us something you know as you're running out of ammo it adds a kind of uh, immersion to the game you know when you have like backpacks full of ammo it kind of gets a bit nah, i'm never going to run out just blast away but in halo every time you pull that trigger you think shit shit damn me ammo me ammo me ammo and i like that i like that it, it keeps you on your toes guys the enemies in this game are pretty pretty lethal as well some of them are i mean i'm not used to seeing some of these some of these i've never seen before because again i'm not a massive halo fan and i learned the hard way just how brutal some of these enemies are especially these kind of mutant kind of spore ridden stinking cesspits of of these monsters that just jumped out of nowhere and just wrecked my face i just i was just one minute i was like oh yeah let's go to the next checkpoint and then a second later i was just dead it was just, where did you come from and what did you do to me, kind of thing. Um, it, it took me a couple of couple of goals to kind of understand how to fight these. But again, picking up a good weapon from the battleground can turn the tide of battle, as I found out with this big f***ing hammer. I got totally used to the, um, the the driving in this game after playing the other two Halos, and I found it great. At first, I didn't like it, and I remember when I was playing the other Halos, the, the mouse steering. But damn, I love it now. I, I'm, I'm a convert now to mouse steering. 
uh, in these kind of games, especially with like four befores, just whizzing around with some guy on the on the Gatling gun above you is just so much damn fun. Same when you're in the tanks as well, or when you commandeer one of the enemy uh, vehicles. What do you think about it, guys? How much stuff you can do in this game? And this is such an old game, but you know, just leaping onto the front of enemy vehicles, you know, after you've shot the the driver out and just throwing a grenade in and then leaping off and blowing it up, it's just great fun. We don't have many, Halo is quite unique, we don't really have a Halo type game. I mean a lot of games have been um, copied over the years but no one's really done a good Halo. And you know all these people who say oh first person shooters are all the same, no they're not. Just because they have a gun and you're looking in first person, my goodness these are completely different. I mean this is completely different to Singularity that I reviewed yesterday. and. It was just nice playing a, a different type of first-person shooter. I mean, I love first-person shooters, and it's just nice that there's so many different types of first-person shooter out there. And I'm really enjoying Halo 3, especially at the price. I mean, my goodness, you cannot go wrong, guys, for the price. You really can't. Now, it's not all um, a bed of roses. I mean, people have been really complaining about DC's uh, disconnects in co-op. However, I played co-op for about an hour or so today um, I think we did one and a half or two levels no problem at all uh, in fact I I was the host and it is peer-to-peer -peer, but I asked him and he said he was getting pretty much no lag no stuttering and he and he couldn't really tell that it was online so co-op isn't as bad as what people are saying if it was I would say but it, I've tested it we didn't have any disconnects the only downside is you have to connect through the Xbox companion app on Windows 10 which is, ugh, you know you can't just do it straight through Steam which is a bit of a shame there's been reports guys of some audio problems in this game as well um, and now I know the very first Halo that I reviewed had audio problems um, some of the guns just sounded awful I haven't had any of them problems at all uh, with this game so I'm not sure what audio problems people are, are talking about or finding but um, I've never really had any, although I have been playing the vast majority of it through speakers and it is a lot harder to find um, problems with audio when you're listening through speakers um, but I didn't find any so there you go. My biggest gripe with the game is my own lack of Halo knowledge to be honest. I pick a gun up on the battlefield and I think oh my goodness this is going to be awesome and then I pull the trigger and it's like a bubble gun you know. it's I, I just don't get the guns in this game uh, I need to play more Halo to actually understand it but what I do understand is a good first person shooter when I see one and Halo 3 is a great kind of different take on first person shooters and it's got co-op so for the price it's easily it's, it's not even up for debate whether this is worth the buy if you have the money to buy the whole collection I highly recommend it because it is super value for money even if you've played these games on the Xbox back in the day the, the 360 um, I think because they've been redone and they're better now and you can get to play with your mouse and keyboard which is the only way to play a first person shooter it is definitely worth grabbing them so there you go guys if you're looking for a good single player shooter a throwback to again when games were good or something where you can play co-op with your friends of up to four people in in this particular game as well guys in co-op and the co-op has been stable for me despite what people are saying on forums um it's definitely worth a buy especially at the price